know, that's right, I wanted to do this one. Let's skip survivors, because I'd done that already. Mirror, smoke, bushfire, beyond the nexus, melting pot. That one. Take care of some maintenance. Oh yeah, my intro. Hello all, this is Shook. Welcome to more Star Trek Online. Hope you all enjoy your time here. Uh, so on and so on. I figure I'll play a bit before bed. is nice. I don't think it really proves anything. Okay, for some... Okay, for some reason, hitting control 
cancel out those things. I am General Rodak, security advisor to the Lakari. I have read your report on the incident at 20 Draconis. Do you have any questions? The Lakari are just ahead and eager to begin the search. Good to see you again. It looks like we have oh, another yeah, that's the ship. Man, I remember We for sent that. out a number of long-range sensor probes to this sector recently. After the events of 20 Draconis, I took the liberty of setting the probes to scan for protomatter. I'm afraid they found something. Let's begin our search by sending a short-range probe to the nearby planet. Yes, the project was a community effort designed by some of our best and brightest. With the help of our allies in the Alliance, we were able to finish construction and the shutdown down crews faster than anyone expected. The Riscosa may not be as large or impressive as some ships, but she is ours. And the crew of the Riscosa stands ready. proto Matter is a weapon of a coward. But we respect its power. Protomatter can also be quite beneficial, General, when used properly. Away. The atmosphere of the planet is so thick it will take the probe some time to get through the interference. While the probe is busy, we can... Perhaps the probe's information will give us more insight as to why these attacks are occurring. of sustaining most known life forms, but it was scorched by protomatter recently. Mm, keep keep the life on us. The moon as a test site for the weapon. If so, it was a poor choice. Why scour world already? I Sickens me to see proto matter used like this. And Discord. system incapable of weird another uninhabited moon but one quite different from the first what is the pattern this makes no sense 
There is no tactical pattern to these attacks. There must be a reason, though. Yes, there must be. Let's figure this oh, out oh. quickly before more lives are lost. Oh, where's the fun in that? Ah, oh, no, it's nothing like red light. Red light the engines. L. I'm picking up some ruins on the surface, some simple life forms. There's evidence of crude attempts at terraforming, but no signs of a protomatter detonation. The probe we sent to the planet is active now. I'm detecting incredible levels of radiation, atmospheric pollution, ruins of great cities, and Oh no. Based on these scans, I... I believe this is the planet Kentar. The original homeworld of my people. There are no signs of protomatter here. It seems... Kentar was rendered incapable of supporting life long ago. By the Kentari. I can barely believe what I'm seeing. I've always wondered what became of them and now I know. Most Lucari thought something like this would happen, but some of us... Some of us hoped they would see reason and overcome it. I suppose you have some questions for me. Much about Kantar was stricken from our records, including its location. Only a few Lucari know of the homeworld. My crew and I were not among their number until now. Is a shameful matter that many of us would like to forget. I suppose you have some. There has been a large-scale battle in this system. We are analyzing the debris. It appears the losing side possessed technology roughly a century behind our own. Preliminary scans... Mm-hmm. Perhaps they are testing the weapon against planets that are not part of the Alliance. 
hoping that we will turn a blind eye to their crimes. Once they have perfected them, would come. Thank you, strangers. Thank you! Someone heard. By all the gods, someone heard the signal! I'm saved! Really? Thank you again. May we seek asylum among your kind? Please. I have confirmed the captain's story. The planet nearby was hit by a protomatter blast. It is time for a reckoning. The Zinke <laughs> Let's go kill some dino things. Ship besides the carrier, which I also have just on my science officer. I recall the Klingons don't have a good carrier ship. Hmm, too bad. Yeah, the dreadnought is fun. I almost never utilized the cloaking though. I always forget about it. Now that looks like fun, though. Their weapon is inefficiently shielded. It leaks chaos at a level our tricorders can detect and track. I recommend we scan for elevated chaos levels. The Kaon particle traces lead into the valley ahead of us. Oh, I see. They followed the waterfall.
The rocks here are causing a lot of interference. We should take another set of scans to get our bearings. That's not bad. That one, yeah, okay. Listen carefully. They're big and angry. We now walk the path of violence. So be it. Attack! Come, Sin Kefi. See our two warriors fight. Something Kathy with a dizzy Scans indicate they took the path to the east. Why would they destroy entire planets? Because we can. They must I mean, find some can. tactical advantage in these actions for some reason. I'm reading Zen Kathy life signs ahead. They are waiting for us. Ah, good. We will meet them in glorious battle. Now we can. Using delaying tactics, we must be getting close. The path continues down from here. The protomatter bomb is still ahead of us. Uh, stun grenade. The Kaon levels are rising. We're getting closer to the protomatter bomb. Hey, 
I couldn't grab it off. I can smell There, just ahead. I see gods. We must be close. Many lock boxes. Someday when I'm rich, I'll be spending a lot of money on keys. Ends here. I'm reading Zenkethi life signs in. I'm reading a tunnel behind that waterfall. One that leads to the cave. Move swiftly, and we can take them by surprise. Okay, put away. Look! They've set up the protomatter bomb in here. Out of the way. Oh, that is a huge protomatter matrix. It's controlled by three regulator consoles. All more than Kathy. Defend them of time. Shutting down Pylon Alpha. For honor. For empire.
Done. All the bombs are dead. We can wait. Look, these word from the core. Zenkethi ships are dropping out. Hmm, 
So it's true. The Zenkethi have a protomatter bomb. All those lives. No one in the Alliance is comfortable with the Zenkethi having a weapon of genocide. What happened to those planets could happen to any world in Alliance space. We need to know more about it and how to stop it. We need to know more about these crystals you mentioned as well. If they're the key to the... While searching for signs of weaponized protomatter, one of our long-distance research probes made a most curious discovery. It found a Class M planet at the heart of the Gonkra Nebula. That's not the most exciting news, however. The probe detected the presence of sentient life on the planet. The biosigns were very similar to our own. It is possible that we have discovered a lost tribe of Lucari. We're going to investigate, and we'd like some backup. The probe went offline rather suddenly after detecting the planet. These people might not be very friendly. Okay. <laughs> Very little on this sector is known to us or our allies. We have recently established contact with the sector's most prominent inhabitants, the First Federation. They are somewhat enigmatic, but encouraging, especially where Tranya is concerned.
very nice. Have I done smoking mirrors before? I don't think on this tune. I'm reading a group of starships out there. They're armed, shielded, and combat capable. Let's hope they're not hostile as well. Curious. Perhaps they might respond more fa Unidentified vessels. I'm not certain. Wait, I don't understand. The rest of the Vessels. This is Prime Minister Tulamon of the Kentari Union. I've ordered our forces to cease hostilities and ask you to do the- There's been a grave misunderstanding. It is customary for us to discuss such grievances in person. The Kentari? They survived? Somehow they managed to survive the devastation of Kenta and make it here. Incredible. Historically, Kentari were quick to distrust and attack. It would seem that hasn't changed. This goes some fun. <laughs> the sacred trees of Lucard. The Kentari destroyed one world with their toxic ways, and it seems they're well on their way to destroy another. Unbelievable. That Kentari on the street looks quite ill. Reading high levels of toxic chemical emissions in the area. They still use unregulated exhaust systems? Unbelievable. How peculiar. The doors here have built in filtration systems. What's that machine off to the side? Is this a miniature store? It's full of breathing aids. People poison the air here and charge others to withstand it. Does that fluid look off to you? I've never seen this level of suffering. Oh, they pile the refuse in the streets. There are still heat signatures on this junk. It was placed here recently. Kill the Lucari and her alien life. Okay, 
hatred for Lucari still burns in the hearts of some Kentari, along with violence. Capitol building is a short distance from here. Asteroid mining in the system has revealed a new mineral. Its primary use lies in power generation, and it could serve as a high energy alternative to chemical and atomic fuel sources currently in use. The Kentar Energy Consortium has secured initial rights to harvesting the mineral known as Ardenite. Recent studies on the connection between unprotected breathing and the so-called smog sickness were inconclusive. Many of the planet's population never wear breathers, and none have been diagnosed with the disease. Remember, contrary to reformist propaganda, smog levels are stable and decreasing in some quadrants. Yes, Barano, the beast, Moody, number... Ah, oh, that little stupidity. Even here, the poor huddled in misery. What? Another attack? the last of them? Let's go inside. The Kentauri have some explaining to do. is a far cry from the smog and squalor we just left, isn't it? Welcome to New Kentar. I must apologize for the unfortunate incidents that have taken place. I'm afraid so. The decline of our world has split the Kentari into two factions. The reformists, like myself, who wish to gradually change our way of life for the better, and the traditionalists, who cling tightly to the old ways and all of the destruction that comes with them. It's simple. Your kind are well-armed aliens from an advanced culture. To the Trads, you're hostile invaders. And the Lucari? Dangerous anarchists from our distant past. Long thought exiled, now returned. And Minister Pentaro is in charge of planetary security. It's his job to evaluate all potential threats, foreign and domestic. The idea of working with aliens, with Lucari, will be... controversial. That said, our situation is deteriorating. I'm willing to open a dialogue with outside parties. Such a dialogue will be monitored, however, in the interest of planetary security. Your suspicion is misplaced, Minister. We had nothing to do with all this. You're not wrong, Captain. And we realize the need to do something about it. The privileged few are safe above the pollution, but they live on borrowed time. 
Ecosystems across the planet are failing. We can no longer afford to... Prime Minister, do you think it's prudent to discuss such matters with these outsiders? Curious. One band of aliens arrives with. I believe you. Our moon is home. Saving their ships might build some trust with the time. Stop those bombs, now! I hope your people know how to deal with these bombs, Lucari. If this is some kind of trick, you won't live to regret it.
are life signs there. All is not lost, Minister. Well, we can't bring back the Kentarian for a kill. A likely story. For all we know, this is the... Calm yourself, Pentaro, and remember who is Prime Minister here. I won't let you down, Prime Minister. Have your observation... Automata Matrix is stable. We're ready to begin. Initiating primary restoration sequence now. Something's wrong. Everything just stopped. Why? I don't understand. I checked the settings myself. That moon should be covered with crops by now. How could you? Considering... made adjustments to the transmitters that could cause a detonation similar to a protomatter bomb. But whoever did it wasn't familiar with Lucar.
Attacking us is unwise. Very unwise. What the fuck are you guys doing? They just don't know when to quit, do they? Yeah, but that's oh, stupid. Those were traditionalists. I suspect one of their operatives was behind the sabotage here as well. I've locked out access to everyone but you and All systems are online. We're ready to go. Initiating restoration process now. Matter matrix deployed. Everything's in the green. We did it! It worked. Our sensors are showing a stable protomatter matrix. Their actions have shamed us all, but they will not get away with it, I assure you. Minister of Alien Vessels! So let us strong! Slow superiority to his death. Pure, pure and simple. You forced my hand. You and your pathetic Lucari exile was too good for the Lucari. We should have wiped you out. Idiot. Not everyone in the Defense Force is loyal to Pentaro. <laughs> This is a momentous occasion. I'm glad you're here to share it with us. Diplomacy is part of a captain's job, as you know. I hope I'm up for the challenge. Welcome to the Riscava, Prime Minister. I look forward to working together. Thank you, Captain. Most kind of you after all this happened. We almost lost everything today. Instead, we can begin to build a better future, thanks to you. There will be resistance from people like Pentaro. 
but we must continue to look ahead. Mm -hmm. To that end, we hope to work together with you and your allies. Mm, I got time for I'm happy to hear it. Kentari and Lucari have lived apart far too long. We've recently begun to explore beyond our world. Perhaps we can do so together. Perhaps. We've got a lot of work to do before then, however. Indeed we do. Well then, let's get started, shall we? This will be quite the revelation back home. Many Lucari do not look fondly upon the great Exodus or the Kentari who forced it upon us. Still, we may be on a path to reunification, one that lets us rebuild what was lost with the Kentari. I truly hope so. <laughs> awesome. Resets. Starfleet Intelligence has learned that Martok, the former Chancellor of the Klingon Empire, is alive. Quite a revelation. Until now, everyone thought he was killed in a duel with the current Chancellor on Kronos. Martok is being held in a Sona facility in the Briar Patch. Officially, it's a research facility built to study metaphasic radiation. In reality, it's a high-security prison used to hold political prisoners. General Rodek is leading a covert rescue operation in the Briar Patch. Meet with him there and help him bring Martok home. Just 
these ones I think I've never done before. It's like I stopped playing before this one came out. This will be the last mission for the night. Gavan, your assistance on this mission is appreciated. Martak is being held here. The son of facility is a farce, and their true masters are the cowardly Vec of House Korg. They hold their enemies here, and the Nine. Begin by jamming the sonar comm signals. Should we encounter any sonar patrols, let
battleships? Yes, this should be our last mission for the night. The time for stealth has come. Yes.
The maximum security area lies ahead. Follow my lead, and we will infiltrate the cell block where they are holding Mardot. Remember, you are prisoners. Stay within the red lines, obey all commands, and do not engage the guards until I give you the signal. See all those turrets? If you step out of line, they are prepared to remind you of your place. Five more lifers! What did you idiots do to earn such dishonor? Not my concern. My concern is to bring them here now. Fair enough. I have plenty of time to find out. Go straight ahead to processing. What a miserable bunch of backtalk! Get these convicts out of my sight! Watch for patrols. We may need to fight them on the way out. Prisoners to the back wall for processing! I don't see anything about five new prisoners! Not my concern. Shall I tell Torg that you are not ready to receive them? That won't be necessary. We'll process them. Sign here. We've come for the Butcher! Bring me Martok! Patience! We're out-processing him now! Ooh. You! Take these convicts to their cells and be quick about it! Quick. Right. Move along, convicts! Don't make me ask you again! Move along, convicts! Don't make me ask you again! Torg is allied with the Zinkethi. There is no end to his dishonor. Martok defeated many Zinkethi in close combat. It is why they call him the Butcher. I haven't seen you around here before. I'm new. What of it? Well, put those convicts in their place, and we can get some blood wine after our shifts. Give me a reason to break you, Patak. We have lots of time to play. Martok, we've come for you! Have you now? Wait, I know your face. One of Moog's sons fights under Torg's banner? Disappointing! Moog? I am Rudek, son of Nagra, an ally of your house, old man. This is no time for talk. Arm yourself before the guards. What is this? Explain yourselves! Isn't it obvious? I'm leaving, you piece of plakta. I think the Zinkethi disagree with you, Martok. Miserable Takek. <laughs>
good. If I am to die, I will die in battle. I fought Jem Park, felt his blade strike home, and died the death of a warrior. Until Torg and his doctors bring me back. Time is critical here. What would you ask of me? There is another here who deserves that honor. A friend, and a warrior born. There's nothing unwise about adding a strong arm. Jim Hadar. There he is, across the way. Martha, this warrior speaking is a Jim Hadar. What of it? The war is over. He has earned my respect. Come out. We have work to do. I stand ready to fight. Who's this? This is Rodek, son of Mo... Uh, Nagra. Well met. I am First Cover Kara. And I am... I know the rest, Jibadar. Martad speaks for you. That is enough for me. Time to go. Alert. Jailbreak in progress. Security protocol ring. Rangi. They have locked down the facility. The doors will not stop. The charges I brought along, however. We can blast our way back to the elevator. Those charges can be of use in other ways. Torg has been running the pathetic remains of his house from this place, blowing up critical... Alert. Jailbreak in progress. Security protocol ring. Torg's office lies beyond this door. If we're lucky, he'll be in it. Until I run, we forge on until we reach the main security office. Use the console by the door to override them. Take care of the rest at main security. Remember, Torg's lack. Recent file is a bill of sale for some some sort of large torpedo. Interesting. Torg bought it from the Zenkepi. Doesn't
Seventeen. Alert. in progress. Fatal force is authorized. Main security is ours. Override the turrets, then set your charges. Security is out. Enemies of the Empire will fall! Taken through here to an exercise area. 
As we passed, I saw a Sona engineer working on these panels. They control power to the cell doors. All of Time to evacuate. The elevator's offline. How will we escape? We will use a grappling device to reach the rooftop. Once we're out, we will deactivate the sort of shield generator to clear a path. This is highly unorthodox. Yes, an audacious plan. Worthy of a true Klingon warrior. You honor your house and mine. When we are free of this place, we have much to discuss. <clears throat> I see the warriors of House Torg and Zenketh have come. I told Lady Sorella that I would bring you home. Send them all to Grafor!
Enemy forces are larger. The battlefield is ours. Now we must destroy the... Rodak, the core. The shield is down. Prepare to extract... Martok! You call yourself a warrior? A leader? I call you a coward and a butcher! I will avenge your victims! I think not, said Kathy. Not while I live. I will take Martok with me to the core. Perhaps after the battle he can explain some of the strange things he said. The enemy is near. We are outnumbered, but my crew got a signal to our allies. There is no escape for you, Patak! But you are not going to die today! Oh no, no! You have... The blood of my heir is on your blade, Torg. It will be avenged. 
If your blood is as dead and weak as he, it will barely stay my blade. Old words for a cowardly traitor. Say them to my face, if you have a spine. the rights of vengeance. Face me in battle, or I'll kill you where you stand. I'll take pleasure delivering your corpse to the Zinkati. <laughs> What's left of it, anyway? <laughs> Claim command of this vessel. Any objections? No? Then make ready for battle. General Rodek, I do hope you have my husband with you, preferably intact. I am Worf, son of Moog, Gintok to the House of Martok. The House of Torg must not be allowed to survive this day. Try not to die. Let us start in the stars with the blood of our enemies.
first, I can't use that. Klingon political intrigues are never boring, that's for sure. It's my understanding that Martok isn't going to pursue the Chancellery, which should make a number of people in the Empire sleep a little easier. A Klingon civil war is something best avoided, trust me. Martok has considerable experience dealing with the Zenkethi, and has offered his services to the Alliance in that regard. There's a good chance you haven't seen the last of the General. We recently received a distress signal from the USS Forrestal, a ship we thought was lost in the Nexus back in 2332. We sent the USS Madison out to investigate, but they haven't checked in for some time. Considering the Nexus is involved, they could be in trouble. The Madison's last known position was in the Rotenev system. Meet with the USS Challenger there to investigate the situation. Her captain has some experience with the Nexus. See you next time. Stay safe.